Hey y'all, we are at One Source Trucks out in Burkeville. Gonna be doing a demonstration video on this 2005 Chevy C7500 single axle dump truck. This truck has a CAT 7.2 motor and it just came in. So basically all we've really done is just kind of a quick bath on this truck. Um, and I'm gonna do something I don't normally do. I'm gonna go ahead and list this truck is in terms of its cosmetic condition um just because my shop is so backed up right now um it's gonna take me forever to get it in the queue to do the little bit of cosmetic uh touch up and reconditioning that i would normally do on these trucks before selling them so i'm gonna put it out now at a lesser price um but let me tell you this truck is cleaner than it really should be this is a 2005 gmc 7500 so pre-emissions, no DPF, no DEF. Um, we got a 10-foot Godwin dump body on it, which I haven't pulled the serial number off of this to confirm, but if I had to guess, I would say that this bed is not original to the truck, just given the overall condition. Um, it's a two-way tailgate back here. And that's just normal surface water corrosion. But this bed is actually structurally in great shape. I mean, we would have to do very little prep work to the frame. Basically no prep work to the frame. And basically very little to no uh, prep work on the bed. It really just needs a quick coat of paint. Um, none of this is compromised metal. That's just normal kind of feeling these trucks do. A uh, little bit of uh, wire wheel by hand after a good hot water power wash, which we have not done. It's really all this truck needs uh, to be ready for paint. It's got a really nice conditioned car on it that works. We've driven this truck several hundred miles and it drives out great, starts right up, hasn't given us any problems at all. I have a new operator in the truck helping me out, so I'm going to get him to go ahead and bring the bed up for us. It is plumbed for um, a plow blade on the front. Plumb, plumb for a plow, can put a blade on the front. We unfortunately do not have a blade that would fit this truck right now, but I do have two really nice spreaders that we can put on there. Um, there's your toolbox, which I'm going to show you on this. Like, even that, I think the sun is fighting it. But even, like, that is structural and sound. There's no, like, rust holes or corrosion or anything in that. But structurally, super sound. I don't know what a good job I did showing you guys that going up and down. I feel like I'm off the game a little bit today. I apologize. I'm going to go ahead and have that brought back down. And then we're going to operate the tarp for you. Operator is doing all of this inside. PTO assisted single cylinder when you're done. Oh. That might be the fastest tarp system I've ever seen. That was surprising. I'm going to go ahead and have Kyle bring that uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring that dump bed back up for us so you can see it go all the way up and down. I don't feel like I did a great job on the other side for y'all, so we're going to redo this. I will say, also, 
uh, for a Cat 17 motor, this truck is not as loud as what I'm used to. I'm used to almost having to yell over the sound of the truck and I'm just kind of talking in a normal voice. So, I'm not sure what that means, if anything at all. I'm going to give him a hold right there so I can show you uh, the inside of the bed of the truck. Or bed of the dump. Oh, well, there's some treasures in there. As you can see, they were using it. So that is just normal water sanding type of, uh, of, of staining. That's not anything structural. That's not anything that, that constitutes real rust on that truck. We'll go ahead and get this, uh, oh, we'll go ahead and get it brought back down and I'll show you the, uh, the truck. We'll bring that back down so you can see nice, smooth PTO assisted. This is an automatic transmission, Allison, of course. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the inside. Everything from what the guys are telling me works on the inside of this truck. So the AC works, uh, the radio works, the heat works. Um, so all of your creature comforts inside the cab all work. Again, I'm pricing this truck cheap because we have not done the little bit of cosmetic cleanup. Um, but, once I get a bay open in the shop, it probably wouldn't take three days to really just improve the overall look of the outside of this truck and make it stand real tall. You don't have any uh, rust in your doors. You don't have any rust in your lower panels. The cab of this truck is super clean. When I get around to the driver's side, I'm going to show you that as well. Do a quick inside for you there is your passenger seat a little cubby there i've never seen that before the little power sources so there are all of your controls and as you can see this truck is set up for plow and spreader. It's got the super fun joystick controller. Always been a big fan of. Um, your floor is in good shape. No rips in that. That is just a standard uh, brake light that the emergency brake is on. Even the steering wheel is in really good condition. It's not all eat up and I don't see an hour's counter. Um, but even like this is nice and smooth. It's not sticky or eat up or anything like that. Uh, standard with your power uh, roll windows. And I'm going to go around to the driver's side where I can actually get up underneath the cab of the truck for you. <sighs> with where the battery box is and the air tanks. You can't really see underneath the cab of the truck. And look, they put that on there so that when you push the foot the hood forward you don't uh, crack up the fiberglass in your head. So there's your frame rail. That's good condition. Like that is that is nice. You can really see all the spinning. Nothing is broken. Nothing has a heavy pinning or rust. But we've had this truck over the pit, and that cab is structurally sound and in great shape. So, if you need a single axle bump truck, this is a 2005 with a Cat 7.2 motor. It's here in Central Virginia, out in Burkeville. It's a one-source truck. Um, you can find us online at carnetcars.com. That's C-A-R-N-E-T-C-A-R-S.com. And the phone number to call or text 24-7 is 804-928-9099. We've got a ton of trucks, y'all. We have a ton of trucks and buses that are not even on our website yet because we are so backed up. So if you have something that you need, let us know. Do you need a garbage truck? Do you need a full-size bus? Do you need a little bus? Do you need a grapple truck? Do you need a service body? We have got probably about 100 trucks in inventory right now, and only a fraction of those are up and advertised. So if you have a need, call or text us at 804-928-9099.
9099.